Hi everyone, it's Roger with the Dare Group Fine Homes and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I have something special to show you. Not special because it's nice, because it's a $975,000 disaster zone. Okay, so this home does sit on some tidal water uh, and with about probably $300,000, $350,000 of work, it could be what something may be looking for, but that is quite a substantial construction job. I had no idea that's what I was walking into when I got here today. This happens all the time. We, you know, this job is not as glamorous as going around and looking at all these beautiful homes all the time. You know, you, you show up at properties and as soon as you pull up, you get this sinking feeling of a house like this and go, oh no, well maybe it's gonna look better on the inside. Well, this one doesn't. I wanna see you, show you what I have to deal with uh, from time to time. So listen, while every house is not gonna be like this, I think this one's gonna be interesting as well. We're gonna go around to a lot of great neighborhoods. This happens to be a really great neighborhood. We're just outside of Venice, Florida in a little town called Nokomis. We are nine minutes from KCK Beach. That's just nine. I just drove there. Uh, so we're that close and we are on boatable water right here for $975,000. But again, this is a disaster zone. Had no idea. You know, yeah, could you make this a $1.5 million home? It's going to take a ton of work to do it. You may want to find, um, you know, another home uh, that, you know, that's that's already done or more, more close to being done and need some slight updates. But, you know, I'm going to go in neighborhoods like these. I'm going to go into beautiful homes. You're not going to want to miss out on in the future. So hit the like button, hit subscribe below. Anytime you want to talk to any of anybody on my team, give us a call at 941-350-2007. Email roger at rogeradair.com or drop, a, drop us a message below. You know, we always answer the messages and we love to hear from you and we can answer any questions you may have about Florida real estate. So without further ado, let's go on and take a look. Okay, so just so you know what I see when I pull up to a property that's $975,000, the first thing I noticed was somebody left the lights on. Okay, so I'm like, okay, well this property, somebody doesn't care what's going on here. It's morning, uh, those lights have been on all night. And then I look, wow, look at the lawn. Look at the weeds coming up through the pavers. Look at the landscaping. It's not been kept up at all. There's no lawn service here. If there is, you know, all they're doing is coming out and keeping the grass to a level that the neighbors don't complain. And if I were a neighbor here, I'd already be complaining. So, and I walk up to the front door. Front doors look like they're in good condition, but I see, as I look up here, I see uh, mud wasps and, you know, and things of that nature. I'm gonna try to give you a little view up there. So when you come in and you see that kind of stuff, you, you typically know that we're, you know, we're looking at something that, that may not be in great shape. So I'm going to walk in the front doors here. It's a really, really big open space. The floor is filthy. Uh, that home entertainment area has got to go. It's completely dated. Uh, check out this uh, dining room wallpaper. Uh, you know, we've got a completely different finish in here. It's not even a nice finish. We've got staining uh, on, on the uh, flooring down here. This up here, I'm gonna see if you can see this, that's track lighting. Track lighting in a dining room. I mean, it's just something else. I don't know, you know, some people that have money have no taste whatsoever. So this is one example of that. So we come in here, it's a really great room and we've got these weird hanging pendant lights in here that I, I just I don't know what the heck was going on in here where they would pat why they would have all these lights and I'll tell you that one right there is Murano glass I recognize that from the island of Murano in Italy right off of Venice so you know it's 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 high-end stuff it's just and, and check out but check out this refrigerator I mean what is this refrigerator what was this I mean I don't understand <laughs> I mean, that refrigerator belongs in a one bedroom, one bath 
$800 a month apartment. Um, they got the microwave sitting on the uh, counter over there. Look at this, we've got uh, two different colors of granite, but not because it's aesthetically pleasing. It looks like it was just because. Um, those cabinets have just got to go. This is all got to get ripped out of here. These sliders are so bad out onto the pool area. I, ha I can only find one uh, that would actually open. Now, what's really cool here is they did run this travertine all the way out through the pool area. So at one time, this probably was a beautiful home. And we're just going to walk out here really quickly because I, I want to show you uh, where this is tidal. Now, the tide is fairly out right now um you know as you can see the, all this needs to be up kept up and i'm not going to go out on that dock because it does not look safe uh so but i will take you out here just to kind of show you you know you could put like a you know you're going to have a lift like that and you could put a you know maybe a 25 foot boat on that lift a fishing boat and that will go out to the intercoastal waterway which will in turn go out to the gulf of mexico so you know this is gonna take at least three hundred and fifty thousand dollars of work that dock right there is probably with the lift involved you're looking at 30 40 grand uh the pool area you know, you're going to have to replace all this travertine here. Let me get a view down here. Um, that's all cracked. And we're going to head back in the house so I can show you the rest of this disaster zone that I've had to deal with here. Uh, so where are we going to go next? Well, we go over to this lovely master bedroom coming in here. Now, this is a stamped Crete surface, which is pretty trendy if you go out into the New Mexico and um, Arizona areas, Scottsdale and whatnot. It doesn't look really great in Florida, I don't think. I don't know what they were thinking. It doesn't transition well with travertine. And then we've got this bamboo looking wallpaper with this Tommy Bahama fan up above. I don't know what they were thinking. And then check out this, I don't know what you call that, mural that's on the door, uh, just really, really bad. And uh, and we've got this closet here with a little safe, it's just dirty, um, you know, wanna to totally do, uh, redo this. And then you've got glass blocking here, pretty much blocking your way as you walk into the shower area. You've got a commode that's not in a closet, a $975,000 house that's not, you know, that's not cool. Uh, check out these cabinets. I don't even know what to tell you about those. We've got two showers in here, which is kind of weird. Um, but let's uh, go out and let's look at the rest of the home just so you can see. I mean, so this, even though this is a large home, I do see this on smaller homes. I see foreclosures. You think you're going to be walking into a nice three bed, two bath. And it isn't until you get in the home that you can really see um, that there are major, major problems. So we have, uh, you know, more uh, stamped Crete in here. Uh, we've got more stamped Crete in this bedroom. And then we've got a di totally different flooring, uh, a wood laminate in here with a funky bathroom here as well. So, you know, I just want to show you $975,000. Now, figuring you probably put $350,000 in this, you know, the cost of a, a decent three bed, two bath uh, with, with a pool in Nokomis, you know, it's not gonna be a palace, but for $350,000, I could find you a three bed, two bath with a pool in uh, Northport. That's absolutely beautiful. So. I just wanted you to see this because I was, you know, planning on filming a really nice video out here for you today. But I thought, you know what? Let me show them what I have to deal with from time to time. And hey, you know what? There also may be somebody who says, you know what? I can, I can spend three hundred and fifty thousand dollars and get myself a one point five million dollar house with that disaster zone. If it was me personally, I wouldn't do it. I think once you get into this home even further and further, you're just gonna find more and more and more problems. 
and I, I just I almost see it as a tear down it's just not worth it so anyways I am going to be going around to beautiful neighborhoods and showing amazing homes all over Sarasota County I've got all kinds of information about the closing process and real estate in general if you want to see more of what I've got to show you please hit the subscribe button down below and hit like well you might not want to hit like on this button but you may want to hit subscribe so you can see more videos like these I'm Roger with the Deer Group Fine Homes. I'll see you soon.